Hey guys, <clears throat> it's John coming at you from Mad Vapes Knoxville at 10542 Kingston Pike. And the reason I'm coming at you today, as always, is I'm doing a weekly mod review. And the mod we're reviewing today is the new Smock Skyhook RDTA box. This thing is, well, this thing is what comes after the alien. Say you, say you have an alien like I do. This thing's really nice, it's a really good device. But you're kind of, and, and you like the baby beast that comes with it, you know, and you want something, but you kind of want something with a little bit more power. You want to use all that 220 watts. Well, this guy right here is for you guys. For those who love, like, building and, like, really want to, like, max out the power that they can use with the alien, the Skyhook is the way to go. Because, here, here's why. The original alien came with a sing like a separate device and a separate tank so it's it's like it's two in one where this one is all in one this is an rdta box which means um you have your rda on top right and for those of us who don't who like want to get into dripping and like but don't really want to like have to drip every three seconds or every three hits, you know. Just the the people who kind of want to ease their way into dripping, I guess you could say. It, it, this is a good way to go because it's, what's cool about it is it has an RDA, but it also has a nine mil millimeter or nine milliliter tank built into it. So basically, what that means is you fill your juice up right here. You put all your juice in here, holds nine mils of juice, so it's basically a tank for your RDA. So when you hit it to re-drip it, all you have to do is tilt it. So you're just like, and you're dripped, you know, and it's constant flavor. It's constant juice. It is so good. I'm really well versed on RD, RDTAs, and I have to say this is probably the best one I've seen so far. Um... I'm a big fan of the Azeroth, but this thing is insane. Like, I... Nine mils of juice, guys. Like, most RDTAs only hold, like, four or five mils of juice, and that's if you're lucky. But this one, this one holds nine. Freaking nine, guys. That's insane. Um, let's talk about the layout. Um, the layout is pretty much the same kind of screen as the Alien. They fix the buttons to where it's less confusing, because on this one... Like, that should be the, like, I feel like that should be the positive and that should be the negative, but it's actually flipped to where that's the positive and that's the negative. Um, it's kind of misleading, but on this one, it's a really nice panel trigger right here. Just up, down, you know, really easy. The battery door is really easy to use. It just pull out, slide out, just like an alien. If you'll notice, though, it's a lot thicker than the alien. So, they kind of idiot-proofed it for... People who drop their mods a lot, it's a lot thicker, so it can take quite a bit more beating than the regular Alien. Um, that being said, this is its own device. It does have the same wattage as the Alien. It's 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 an off branch of the Alien. I wouldn't call it a sequel to the Alien now that I think about it, but it's it's kind of its own device. But it takes a lot of inspiration from the Alien. Let's say that. Yeah. Um, if you'll notice, they have this nice streamline. I'm not even sure what this is, but I like it compared to this. It, it kind of keeps the same, like, design, whereas adding its own, uh, and it also adds its own twist to it, you know? But yeah, let's talk into how to use this thing. Um, what you're going to do, oh, and it also comes with pre-built Claptons, or alien Claptons, yeah. These things are really nice. What's really cool about it, though, is in most RDTAs, you have like a cross on your build deck, like underneath your build deck. Whereas this one, and it makes it kind of hard to wick, but on this one, there it's got floating. It's got a f floating velocity build deck. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to get it to focus. But yeah, right here, see how the post just stops. Yeah, and then it connects down right there. I'm doing a real bad job of showing you guys this, but uh, <laughs> you get the idea. Uh, floating post, so it's easier to wick, better airflow, better wicking, basically, so you're not constantly having to make sure you're 
dripped because you're always going to be dripped with this thing. Um, has bottom and middle airflow, and it's adjustable. You have your, here, let's get this off. Let's see. We've got adjustable airflow. See? And you just pop it in like so. Got a lot of O-rings so you don't have to worry about leaking. Uh, and it's got a removable drip tip so you can customize your drip tip if you want to. Put a different one on there, you can keep this one. Uh, but it's honestly up to you. Uh, they really took their time with this one I feel like. And it's really self-explanatory once you like actually get it in your hands because like it tells you where to drip. Like there's your little dripper. And then what's cool about this one is when you fire it there's an LED in here so it lights up. So it's really cool. I like that a lot, honestly. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, this is a really deep tank. Um, I'll just show you. Like, it goes down in here and then it fills up over here. I love it, guys. This thing is just... It's just pretty, you know, and I mean, it's sturdy too. I, I, like, it feels good in the hand. Um, it does have pass through charging right here. Uh, and it comes with a little screen protector that you can leave on there if you like. Um, got that nice black carbon fiber finish on the back, and it is real carbon fiber. Um, same old fire bar as the Alien. Uh, but it's. It's something new, guys, and I figured I, I'd show it to you because it's it's for those of you who want to get into dripping but don't want to have to drip all the time and you don't want to have to worry about if your cotton's getting burnt and stuff like that because if your cotton gets burnt and you don't have a bag of cotton on you, which most people don't carry cotton around with them, so I don't know why you would, then you're screwed, you know? But with this, you don't have to worry about that. It's really nice. It's really easy. Um really straightforward honestly and it's just it, it's not too big size comparison to the alien it's maybe like just a little bit thicker and a little bit taller but that's about it like it's it's still really small you can still slide it into your shirt pocket or into your pocket only thing about this is let's dive into the pros and cons pros and cons let's start with the pros pros nine mils of juice nine mils uh Another pro is you got insane air amounts of airflow, so you could literally close off your top airflow completely if you wanted to, and you still have airflow. Um, it's got a raised uh, drip tip, which a lot of RDTAs don't, especially the limitless, <coughs> limitless, uh, you know, limitless RDTAs. They're basically like limitless RDTAs. That's your mouthpiece. So you're, every time you hit it, you're practically kissing your coils. And if any of you know what that feels like, it's not fun. Uh, <laughs> where this one kind of takes after the Azeroth in the sense that it raises it up so you actually get that chimney and you get that pull that you want, you know. And it maximizes the flavor, I feel like, too. It's extremely wide bore, but it's not too wide bore to where you're going to get a lot of spit back, you know. Um... But uh, that, it's really easy to hold, uh, re fits really well in the hand, it's smooth, it's got a nice finish on it, comes in multiple colors, um, good battery life, it's 220 watts, so you got plenty of room to play with. Um, and yeah, now the cons, the only con I have noticed about this is probably the fact that this is not glass. So if you like super duper high citrus flavors, it will eventually eat through this. Now, that being said, I'm sure they thought of that. So they made it extra thick, but you still want to be careful with it. But other than that, I really can't think of anything negative about this thing. Um, but yeah, so that being said, guys, as always, stay safe, be vigilant, and uh, keep it cloudy.